I am here at Hugh Keenly Side Dam, one of a network of dams down the Arrow Lakes complex that generates electricity for a large portion of BC and also for United States and it powers my truck. Right here where I live is where my electricity comes from. And that's pretty darn cool. You know, it's all fine and dandy to have a clean source of electricity. As we know, both in Canada and the United States, renewables are taking off, but getting those electrons into electric vehicles means having a good infrastructure. And as of this month, there was a big announcement made by BC Hydro that they finally finished the electric highway. And that is that any road that you're on in BC, any major paved road, north, south, east, west, across Vancouver Island from the southern tip to the northern end of it, from the most remote rural locations all the way up to the border with Northwest Territories going into the Arctic Circle, going into Alberta and going into United States, you're gonna be able to charge without worry at any location that you're traveling on. That's a big step. But on the major routes, as of mid-2025, BC Hydro is pledged to have 400 kilowatt charging stations installed. These are like hyper superchargers because they're even faster than Tesla superchargers at 400 kilowatts. A lot of vehicles can't even use that, they're so fast. And that's what we need. We need the industry, the auto industry, to have to catch up to that technology. So that's a big step. So you can charge, you know, 100 kilometers or 60 miles in a couple of minutes. I mean, that's freaking bonkers. Getting that infrastructure in place couldn't be better timed because in other trucked up news, we've got a great announcement. I have just confirmed that Ram will be going into production later this year of the Ram REV 1500. And by the end of the year, starting in 2025, their series hybrid Ram Charger will also be going into production. This is absolutely fantastic news. We're gonna have six EV trucks making their way to market before the end of this year. I mean, Stellantis, the parent company of Ram, was a little late to the party, but they finally arrived. They made a commitment. They put $400 million into three Michigan plants to get their EVs up and running this year. And you know what that means? That means more competition, more innovation, and better pricing as these things go head to head with one another. It's just good for all of us. It's good for the consumer. I'm really thrilled with this news. As you know, I'm about to launch my trucked up stops across this country. We're talking tens of thousands of miles when I'm done. Canada's the second largest landmass nation on this planet. The province that is celebrating this electric highway is one and a half times the size of Texas. Yeah, I'm not kidding. Each province I'm going up and down and testing whether or not they're rated for the trucked up stamp of approval. And if not, they get another stamp, then they're not gonna appreciate. This is a big undertaking. It's gonna take me a month to pull this off and a huge amount of resources. So I'm hoping that you can help in any way that you can. If you can't make it to the trucked up stops, I get it. Many of you aren't in the province that I'm gonna be traveling through at the time, but if you're not even in the country, I'm hoping that you can visit the trucked up store below, pick up a t-shirt, that directly helps the channel in a really big way. If you could even donate a small amount for a cup of coffee it, with a donate button, that makes a huge difference. If none of those things are possible, the most important thing of all for the channel is that you click the like, subscribe, and bell notification icon below because about 80% of people who visit the channel on a regular basis don't click the like and subscribe button and that makes a huge difference to the success of the channel. So all of those things really matter, especially for this huge trip. So I'm hoping that you can help me out. Thank you so much for any help that you can give. I really appreciate what you've done. This channel is growing 100% because of you. Thank you. As I travel this great country, I'm gonna be stopping in and talking to amazing trucked up folks in every province about how they're applying their EV truck to their life. Make sure that you contact me in the comments below if you in fact have a story to tell. There's also an email in the description. Please email me and we'll set up an opportunity to do a shoot and tell your story right here on Trucked Up EVs. Can't wait for that. We start this epic journey right now. From where I am now in Casagar, we're gonna go into Alberta from BC, go up through the spine of the Rockies, head up the Continental Divide, and then cross Northern BC where I did not go on my last two journeys that you can see right here when BC earned its first 
trucked up stamp of approval. I was contacted by people in comments and said, you haven't done the whole province. So we're gonna go up north and we're gonna do that last leg. Now I was planning on doing the leg also on Vancouver Island from Southern tip to north and then I got COVID. So I can't go around infecting people. I have to wait until I tested negative before I can set off on my trip. We're gonna do the truncated version, but we are gonna travel through that entire rural area that people say, well, that's the tough zone. Here are the dates for the first leg of our Cross Canada Trucked Up Tour. I'm gonna to start September 18th and I'll be stopping at Hot Shots Cafe in Cranbrook, British Columbia at 9.30 a.m. Mountain Time. And then I'm off to Ethos Cafe in Golden, British Columbia at 12.30 p.m. My last stop for September 18th is gonna be kind of a supper date at Nancy O's in Prince George. Hoping to see my Prince George trucked up crowd there. September 19th, we're gonna head for Smithers, BC. And I hope to hang out with you around noon. And that's gonna be at the Two Sisters Cafe in Smithers. Should be a lot of fun. Bring your questions, come on out, get yourself a sticker and maybe a trucked up t-shirt. The morning of September 20th, my trucked up stop is at Lori's Bistro and Coffee House in Watson Lake, Yukon. Before we head out later that day, I'm gonna meet up with my Fort Nelson trucked up folk at the Tim Hortons at 2.30 p.m. And we're gonna round out the Northern BC leg on Saturday morning, September 21st at Beans and Barley Cafe in Dawson Creek before crossing into Alberta for the second leg of the Trucked Up Stop Coffee Tour. And until I run out, I'm gonna be handing out Trucked Up stickers for free to anybody who comes out to my Trucked Up Stops. So looking forward to seeing you at those events and we can get you a sticker in your hand. And I will have my I Love EV trucks t-shirts we're going to have them all there for you so if you want to pick up a t-shirt make sure you make it to the trucked up event i can't wait to talk to you in person let's make this happen first leg of the journey is kicking off right now